Welcome to another segment in the Quotrader webinar series, The Dome, or Depth of Market Overview. Hi, I'm Brent Threadgill, Quotrader's Product Manager. This webinar was presented by Avery Hodge, Developer Support Technician at eSignal. Without further ado, let's join Avery and the others. We're going to go right into how to place our orders. And that, that's where our trade manager window comes in. This is the most important window in this application to me, besides those charts. You know, everybody uses charts to trade, but you have to have some type of that means for getting those orders out to your broker. And that's what trade manager is for. So what we're going to do here is we'll go ahead and look. And you'll notice that, you know, since the market's closed, we don't have a whole lot of activity going on here. But you'll see that I've already placed on Ford here, I have a buy limit order. And you can sell that by your by looking under the orders tab, I have a buy limit for just one share at $8.81. Right? And you can place your orders simply by going up and down the bid and or ask column. You'll see that if you go on the bid side, if we go anything below the last price, you'll see we're going to put in a buy limit order. If we go above the best ask price, you'll see we put in a buy stop. Right? And same as goes for under the ask or offer price, or if we go above the uh, best price, we're going to put in a sell limit, and if we go below it, we're going to put in a sell stop order. To that in just a moment here, where you can look at those items. Okay, and while we have it open here, we'll go ahead and look. We have the order ticket, and what the order ticket does here is it gives us uh, a variety of different information, and we can preset these items in the defaults. So you have the order ticket, which allows us to do either stops, limit by or the limit or market price, what type of order this is going to be. In this case, it's going to be a sell. Uh, opens or closes, in this case we're going to close, and it gives us the quantity in which we're going to be doing it on. Uh, we'll go into that in just one moment here. So then once again, um, and just underneath that you'll see that we have the, um, the five buttons at the bottom there. Reverse, reverse is our position. So if we have a position we're already in the market, we see that it starts to go against us, we can reverse and try and get, pull money out by, uh, or I should say gain more money in the in this party. We have an opportunity to buy at market. So a quick buy at market brings up our, our order ticket. says market. It's a buy. We're leaving the open. Uh, the quantity, we're going to do just one share. And since we're not doing uh, any type of limits or stops, you'll see those items are grayed out to us. There's no trailing stop. Uh, trade, we're going to do it as a day order. Right? Um, oh, the other ones, contrast, none. We don't have any of the other information. So then we would go ahead and click Submit. What that should do is it populates order. So there we go. And at this point, we should see on our window, order one, this expires today, so and our, our order was placed. And you can see that once again in our information window as well as in our order window. You'll see that the order has been placed. Okay. So that this, just so you can see the correlation of the different windows. Yeah. So what we'll do here is we're going to go ahead and bring back up that order window here so that we can kind of discuss it. Down here on the bottom, you'll see that we can do brackets. So you can do stop losses. So when you place your order, you can automatically place a stop loss at the same time so that you can, instead of having to place another order later on and you don't know how quickly the market may change. So this is just a way that you can quickly set up uh, different things. You can also set it up so that um, you don't have to necessarily sit around and watch. Right? You can set it up to take profit. So you can place your order, get it in the market, then you don't have to sit around and, and wonder you know, how long it's going to take for you to get to your, your target point and then get out. You can set it so you can set your target point and be on your way. Then you can also set it up for both. So you can do a stop loss as well as the take profits where you're setting up the profit. Uh, here, matter of fact, let's just really quickly and you can do it. You know, as you can see here, if I set it for a uh, stop loss for 10 ticks above, you can also set it for 10 ticks below. It's totally up to you on, on, on where you set those pricings. And you'll notice that the price changes along with it for each one of the, each one of the ticks. And understand these are ticks. So in the Ford, where ticks are pennies, that's what you'd be doing. So in this case, 21 cents. In the futures market, depending on how many ticks you do, it's going to be based on that price quantity. So for example, the, the Russell 2000 does its ticks in, in 10 cents or in decimals of 10, one tenth. So each tick would be a tenth. And you can set it up that way so that 10 ticks obviously would be one point. So you could set it up for one point, two points, five points, 1.5 ticks, however many ticks you want to do. Do the same thing as well as on the profits. So if you set your profits for uh, 25 ticks, oh, I guess we should set our stop loss reversibly here. We don't want one. There we go. We want to be negatives. 
right? Obviously, we're doing stop losses, and the only way you would go uh, positive is in this case where we're doing sales. So we're going to do negatives and positives based on how you're doing your sales so that you can get out of the market. We'll go ahead and cancel that out. Um, so those are some of the different bracket trades. And what I want to do here, and also you can notice you can set those brackets down here on the bottom as well. So if you're trying to do a quick market, right, you do stop losses, and you can set it to, say, 10 there. And or on our this would be our taking profit. So if we set it to 35 or 36 ticks, set our stop loss 10 ticks. And when we go ahead and we place an order here, go ahead and we'll say right here at the market, you'll see that the information is already filled in for us. Right, so 10 would put us at 83, as 37, so it would take us up to 920. Right, so we place that order. There we go. You'll see that we have our our we have our order for one. You see we have our stop loss, our our stop sell, right down there on the bottom. And if we scroll up, you see that there we have we have our stop limit or sell limit up at 920. So this is a quick way that you can place orders, and you know. Be more efficient, I guess, in your trading would be the best way to say that. And what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and center this back up. Notice you have the center button and the freeze button on top, which allows you to, just as we did, if you get at a range of your of the center point or the, the last price, you can click center, and it will center the last price back in the trade manager or the dome window. Freeze, this window is really cool. What it allows you to do is in a fast-moving market, you want to place your order and try and get your order in, but it's moving too fast. You can freeze the market. Place your order and then unfreeze it, and it'll take you back. That way, you can get into the market. You can set your pricing without worry of clicking on the wrong space because it might be going too fast. Uh, down on the bottom, as we were speaking before, we have the reverse in the market. We also have the market. So you buy, you basically buy in the market at the best market price. Uh, flatten. What the flatten does is, if you are in the in the market, and it just doesn't necessarily go for just this one trading manager window, but here you'll see I also have an order place for Cirrus here. Right, you see down here on the bottom where I have a place order for Cirrus as well as with Ford. And what the flatten does is we click flatten. What it will do is it closes out all positions that you have. Right, so any order, it'll cancel any orders that haven't been filled. And plus any orders that have been filled, you'll be closed out at market. So if we go back to Cirrus, you'll see that I no longer have an order place. Uh, for Cirrus. Thank you for your patience there. So uh, after the flatten, we have what they call market for sales. So you can you can either get out of market if you're in a position, or if you see that it's going, you see it's going down. You want to grab a piece of action there. You can click on market for uh, the ask price. And what it will do is, what it will do is, it will put you in the market as it's going down. So you got that the sell at market, which is good for either shorting or getting out of the market. We have a closed price here, and what that does is for one particular market, so whatever instrument you're running in this particular trade manager, if you do close, it will close only that position. So like I said, where I had a position in Ford, I had a position in Cirrus, if I'm looking at Cirrus and I click close, it will only close out the Cirrus position while the Ford will continue to run. Okay. And then uh, down below that, you see we just discussed the bracket trades. And so you'll see that information down here on the bottom where you'll see your account, the symbol that you're, you'll see the buy or sell, the limits, what the quantity was, and you'll see the status of the orders. So all that information, which is the same as you would see under the order information, is all going to be, so once again, just where the correlation between the windows come together. And that would be, and those are the trade manager windows. Hope you learned a few new ways QuoTrader can help your trading. If so, let us know. You can contact us directly by emailing trading at quote.com or visit us on the web at quote.com where you can get QuoTrader or just more information, including access to online help and our active community, Raging Bull. Remember, QuoTrader is free, so install it today and find out how it can make a difference in your trading.